welcome back to my channel. Today I am so excited to share my entryway makeover reveal. This was a project that I was so excited to tackle in 2022. If you've been here a while at the beginning of the year, I moved my entryway table into my dining room and I loved the way it looked. Highly recommend moving around the furniture in your home if you wanna come up with a new look for a space. You might just surprise yourself like I did with my new coffee bar setup. So for my entryway, I knew I needed to find a piece that was going to be very functional. I wanted to be able to store shoes and bags but still have it be aesthetically pleasing when you first walked in our house. And I also needed to find a piece that wasn't going to look so bulky in our relatively narrow hallway. This took a lot of searching and patience, but one day at HomeGoods, I stumbled upon the perfect piece. I love looking for furniture at HomeGoods. It kind of reminds me of thrifting or antiquing. They always have really pretty and unique pieces. A lot of times they are marked down a lot from what you would find in like the big box stores. So I love checking home goods for furniture. And today I actually found a piece that was damaged. Now, why am I excited that I found a damaged piece of furniture at home goods? Let me tell you, it was originally $599. They marked it down to 360, but since it was damaged, I was able to talk them down to $300. And this piece is made of real oak wood. Very substantial, beautiful. I love all of the distressing on it and the part that was damaged was very minimal. I knew I could fix it super easily. Plus this gave me the opportunity to totally make this piece my own. It was missing one of the poles, so I knew I would go in and replace the hardware, which is such an easy way to totally transform the look of a piece for not a lot of money and not a lot of skill if you aren't handy with DIYs. Today's video is sponsored by Dime Beauty. I have never had a set morning or evening skincare routine before using Dime Beauty, and it's honestly become such a relaxing and enjoyable part of my day and has totally changed the way that my skin looks and feels. I use the best-selling works bundle in my morning and evening routine. I really like that they use clean and cruelty-free ingredients with no harsh chemicals because my skin is super sensitive. They even offer many fragrance-free products as fragrances can lead to clogged pores and be harmful to the skin. I don't usually leave out my products because clutter drives me crazy, but their eco-friendly glass packaging is so beautiful that I love to leave them out right by my sink. Starting a skincare routine with Dime Beauty has truly changed the way I feel about my skin. I will leave a link to all of my favorite products shown here in my description box down below, so make sure to head on down and check that out. So the first step of this makeover was to fix my front door. Last year, I added beadboard wallpaper to the panels of my door, and I absolutely love that look. I also added the same wallpaper to my kitchen island, and that is holding up amazing, but it just wasn't the best thing to add to a front door. I think that one of the kids bumped up against it and some of it kind of tore off and then my two-year-old just tore the rest of it off. So this was something that I knew I needed to fix and I was putting off because honestly taking wallpaper off is never fun. So I went in with a mixture of warm soapy water and Goo Gone and this process was actually kind of satisfying. It was messy though. So after I let the wallpaper soak a little bit in the water and goo gone, I went in with a plastic scraper and also just a wet rag and I was able to get it completely off. And then I went in with more soapy warm water and just washed the door completely multiple times and let it dry completely before I went in with my paint. And I can feel the sun on my skin. This morning I was so clear a lot as any 
to see the horizon and the far Excuses were too for a penny But they've all gone out the window of this car And when I now I was going back and forth for a while if I wanted to change the color out completely, but I absolutely love this green. Green is my go-to favorite color. And fun fact, sage green is actually the color of the year for 2022. So go figure. The exact shade is Rosemary Plant by Kills, and I got mine at Walmart. So I went in and got a fresh new can and decided to just keep the door the same color, but obviously I was going to go in and touch it up. I think I did about two coats of paint and got it looking back to its normal beautiful state Then it was time to repair my cabinet. I went in with plastic wood filler in the shade Natural, and I really took my time with this. I had just applied thin layers, and then I let each layer dry for a minimum of four hours, but most times I let it just dry completely overnight. I did not wanna rush this process. I wanted it to be completely dry, so it was just a really clean and easy fix. It's a good day to Here's what it looks like a couple days later. I added a lot of different coats and I think it's ready to be sanded now. It's very hard. And it did say that you could drill into it, but I used the end of this paintbrush and just kind of put it in here every time I would apply a layer. And when it was almost dry, I'd take it out. So now I can just fit my hardware in there easily, or at least I'm hoping so. When the hole was completely patched, it was so easy to sand. It really just felt like I was sanding away wood. So I made sure that was very smooth. And then I found at Hobby Lobby, just some white chalk paint. I was able to match the color of the cabinet really easily. There was no shine or anything. So chalk paint was the perfect thing to use. couple cabinet pulls that took the paint off when I removed them so I just went in with that same chalk paint and touched them up and it was really easy to blend because the cabinet itself was so distressed. My go-to place to look for hardware is Hobby Lobby. I am so impressed with their selection and their prices and I feel like they switch things up a lot as well. So I found these golden vintage style cabinet pulls. I think they were six dollars a piece and I just thought they were absolutely beautiful and I think they make this cabinet look a lot more expensive than the original hardware. I say this all the time, but I will say it again. Switching out hardware is such an easy and impactful DIY. I'll show the before and after of the cabinet and I just think that it made such a difference for this piece. My next challenge was to find the perfect piece to go on top of my cabinet. I knew that I wanted to bring in a lot of light. This wall does not have any windows, so I figured a mirror would be the perfect thing to reflect light and just brighten up this little hallway. I needed to find a mirror that was wide enough so it wouldn't be overtaken by the length of this cabinet. Since I have a lot of angles going on, a lot of rectangles, a lot of square shapes, I wanted to soften up the space with a more 
round mirror. So I played around with the idea of getting a big circle mirror. They had some really pretty ones at Target that were black, but ultimately I settled on this arch mirror from Target. I love the soft distressed color of it and it really just keeps this space very light and airy. Again, I didn't want anything too heavy or too dark to make this, I don't know, just look too bulky and overcrowded. This mirror is extremely heavy, so I'm just leaning it up against the table and I kind of pushed on it a few times to make sure that it would stay and I just absolutely love it. It's the perfect size and I love the arch contrast with all of the rectangles that are going on in this space. Next, I found this beautiful vintage neutral color runner from Well Woven. This will also create a soft coziness around our entryway and also keep any dirt or things being tracked in from shoes. I love the pattern of this runner so much that I ordered a full size to go in the room directly across from it, which will be my office. That makeover video is coming to my channel soon, so make sure you are subscribed so you don't miss it. I'm working on it now, and let me just tell you, it is going to be such a fun transformation. To make sure the runner would stay in place and wouldn't move all around as people were walking on it, I purchased an anti-slip mat and taped it on each of the four corners so that it would stay in place. Not tomorrow, there's no time to borrow today. Well, something's gotta give today. It's a good day today, and not tomorrow. Since I do want to use the bottom of this cabinet as shoe storage, I went in and I purchased this very affordable bath mat and cut it to size to fit on the bottom. That way water and dirt wouldn't be soaking into the wood. I may look for some baskets that fit this space as well for shoes, but I figured this bath mat would be a good little solution in the meantime. Another thing I loved about this cabinet is that the shelves are removable, so I'm going to remove one on one side and add a little command hook. I think I think this one can hold like five pounds or something and I'm going to put it in the back so that my son can hang his backpack here. This is almost going to be his own little cubby. He can keep his school shoes, his cleats, his backpack, everything he needs from school. He can just grab it and then put it there when he gets home. The cabinet on the other side is going to be for more shoe storage and then I have a little basket that I'll be keeping all of my dog leashes and his dog supplies in one of the drawers. And now my favorite part, we're going to be adding in some decor. I wanted to keep it very neutral. I know I'll be switching this out so many times, but for now I'm using this faux tree on the side of the cabinet. I love incorporating little pops of life with real or faux trees or plants. And then on top, I have these really pretty natural wood candle holders, and I'm just placing them on one side of the mirror just to add some height. And on the other side, I'm using the vase that was on my dining room table. Right now it has my Valentine's Day centerpiece, so I'm adding that to the other side of the mirror. Thank you. 
and I'm sure I'll switch this out so many times, but for now, I'm just loving this natural, everyday look. Okay friends, I hope you enjoyed today's entryway makeover. This was something that I am absolutely loving. It's been so functional for us so far, and I just highly recommend making your space functional for you and your family. I went way too long with that entryway table that I loved the way that it looked, but it just was not functional. So now that I have something that looks great and is functional, it's just a total game changer. Make sure you are subscribed for more decorating videos and inspiration. And if you liked this one, make sure to give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next video.